The question posed in this video is, is there any reason to not use Let's Encrypt? So I want to talk about that a little bit. For those of you who do not know what Let's Encrypt is, they are a provider of completely free security certificates for your websites and other purposes. They also provide all the tooling to make the entire process completely automated and you can just set it once on a job and it'll just do it automatically every three months. Now before we talk about the actual merits of Let's Encrypt, it's probably worth examining exactly how we got to this point in 2021, why Let's Encrypt needs to exist and so on. From the start of the mainstream internet through the 80s and 90s and to a lesser degree the 2000s, there was not a ton of sites that were really using any kind of security. They were all just HTTP sites. There were sites that were using HTTPS, but they were typically sites that had a need for it, like people who were conducting e-commerce online or things like that. And this was really true for everyone. It didn't really matter the size of the business. In fact, the Google's main search page was actually insecure for quite a long time. I remember when they released the HTTPS version of Google.com because it redirected to encrypted.google.com. The trend of selectively securing sites continued through the 2000s and into the 2010s. And to be fair, a lot of the sites didn't really need to be secure. I mean, if you have like a dog grooming business and you have just a landing page that has your hours and a map and things like that, there's not a whole lot that really needs to be secured there. What really should be secured is when people are using emails and passwords, credit cards, and other sensitive personal information. And I also knew of plenty of sites back then that were unsecure even though they were taking a credit card. And it was what it was. Everybody was learning as they go and doing the best they can. However, in 2013, all of this would change when Edward Snowden blew the whistle on the American government for conducting mass surveillance. And not just the American government, but other governments of Western countries who are using that same technology in coordination with the American government. In the next year or so, as more information came out, this huge renewed interest in secure encrypted communication over the internet had reemerged. And from 2013, 2014 to present day, so roughly the last seven years, there has been a nonstop, unrelenting push for everybody on the internet to encrypt everything. But what does this all have to do with Let's Encrypt? Well, when we think of the internet in 2021 and what needs to be protected, it's client devices like phones, tablets, computers, TVs, IoT devices, and other things that are connecting to backend services which need to have a secure certificate, which is issued by somebody like Let's Encrypt. But if the technology already exists to get certificates for the last about 20 years, why do we even need Let's Encrypt? And that's because companies for the last 20 years have been selling you the ability to have a secure site rather than just giving you the ability. The only way to get a secure certificate before was to do a manual process and then pay a company some money. They would then sign your certificate and then you'd have one. How much you would actually pay them really depended on the vendor. It could have been as cheap as $50 per year or it could have been $300 or more per year. But we have a renewed interest in encrypting everything. So if we're going to ask everybody to encrypt every web server on the planet, we have to do so with the lowest friction and the lowest barrier possible. And for sure, it cannot include them having to pay anything. And so Let's Encrypt was born, the fully automated free way to get unlimited security certificates forever. Now, even though Let's Encrypt came out five years ago, there's still other commercial vendors of security certificates who are still selling people security certificates. So how are they managing to compete with Let's Encrypt, who is offering what they are offering for free? Well, a couple reasons. The first potential reason is that people are just not aware Let's Encrypt even exists. It's not a whole lot we can do about that other than just tell people that it exists and that they can just get security certificates both for free and automated. The second potential reason is people are believing some of the rumors that commercial security certificate vendors are putting out about Let's Encrypt. A couple such rumors are like Let's Encrypt doesn't work on all browsers and has bad compatibility. And the second thing is Let's Encrypt is a less secure security certificate than one you get from another vendor. Regarding compatibility, it's possible this was true when Let's Encrypt first came out, but in 2021, it's just as compatible as anything else out there. And as far as Let's Encrypt giving out certificates that are somehow less secure than another vendor, that's just a flat out lie. In terms of the security technology and the way the handshake works, it is identical to another certificate. And the third reason, and this is the only one that I consider to be somewhat reasonable, is that other vendors of security certificates that you actually pay for, they can offer things like customer service, a warranty, and then also what's called extended validation. And extended validation is when they both verify that a person owns a domain, but they also verify that the business that owns the domain is who the business says they are. Obviously, these things do require human intervention, so it does make sense to charge for that human intervention. The question really becomes, do you need customer service and do you need extended validation? And my opinion is you do not. 
And as it turns out, a lot of people seem to agree because there's a lot of sites that keep popping up that are all using Let's Encrypt certificates, and the number grows every single day. And on the topic of how far we've come on securing the internet, in 2013, it was estimated that there was only about 22% of the sites out there that were using HTTPS. Fast forward to present day, Google's reporting that as of January 2021, in Google Chrome, for all users that have anonymous usage statistics enabled, there is 97% of the pages viewed in Chrome are done so over HTTPS. That is a shockingly high number. So if you're watching this video and you happen to be an operator of one of those 3% of sites that are only using HTTP, you should really consider securing it and you can use Let's Encrypt to do so both free and automated. And for somebody who's watching this video who's still paying for security certificates, again, you should check out Let's Encrypt. You can do so both freely and automated. If you have any additional thoughts on this video or you want to let me know what you think of Let's Encrypt, be sure to let me know below in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Always be safe on the internet and I'll see you soon.